And then uh, today we learned the, uh, there's a really nice tool called the Forge um, uh, from the uh, Linaro company. And uh, it's a very powerful tool for debugging uh, your code or profiling, you know, kind of lightweight kind of way of doing the profiling and the, but very efficient. So we learned the, how to use these tools today. So let me just go ahead. And then uh, the, today the, the, the Rudy, Rudy will help. Rudy will teach how to use these tools. And then other, the uh, Linaro, the staff members will help answer the, some question, user questions uh, during this uh, presentation. And please, and then uh, I ask you to follow these certain rules here. And it would be good if you can change your Zoom name to given name and last name. And also, we are going to use the Google Doc uh, for today's uh, Q&A session. So go there. It is in the, uh, the calendar invite. So you go there and the, put your questions. So this way is a little better because you know we can get the information to a certain question in a certain in a single location so it can be easy to understand the what the, the right answer it might be and the slides and video will be available today uh, at the uh, the event website and then at uh, at the end of the training please participate in survey and I sent an email to everyone about to installing this one of these two tools because uh, using the X, the X forwarding uh, for the using the X window GUI is really painful. If you click the button, it takes five minutes uh, to see the result. So this is practically unusable. So you have to use uh, two solutions here. One is uh, called the No Machine. It was clear, uh, formerly called the NX. So I provide the, uh, how the web links for installing and the configuration. And uh, there's a really nice tool called the Linaro uh, Forge Remote Client. So you can download it and configure it. So if you start, if you use no machine, and if you log into that uh, NERSC server, you first click this button, uh, this this icon, this icon is for parameter, and that will open a window. And here you can do the normal normal thing as you do on parameter, like you know ls or compile, and then some of the uh, the interactive batches up there. And if you launch it, DDT or per, uh, Forge, the Forge window will pop up here. So this is how to use NX. And the Linaro Forge remote client, this is I kind of briefly explain how to create a configuration for parameter and then how to configure actually. So you click the conf configure uh, menu here and then you enter the thing. Probably remote script is uh, optional. So you don't probably don't have to do it, but uh, uh, you can click it or you can check or you cannot check here, but the end results would be same. And then you just connect to parameter. Since you have uh, created a configuration for parameter. Yeah, and then it will ask for a password and OTP, one-time password. But if you create a SSH proxy keys, then you can do a passwordless SSH. So you are not uh, prompted to enter password and OTP. And then in a separate window, you start the interact, uh, you SSH the parameter, and then you, you start the interactive job and they start the forge there. And then you have to use a, this special flag. And then you need to click, you need to accept that, that connection request from your laptop or desktop. So for today's exercise, the the Rudy provided some very interesting example codes. So I, I put in this directory, global CFS Cedars training 2024, Forge, uh, March 2024. You can just copy entire directory into current location here. We have reserved of uh, 10 CPU nodes and the five GPU nodes. 
the re reservation name is a uh, forge underscore CPU for and the forge underscore GPU. And uh, you can charge it to en and train seven project account here. So this is kind of a SLR command that you can use today. And uh, since the reservation is not big, so uh, you can use your own project, your own project account or submit a non-interactive batch job. Okay, that's all I have. Any questions? Okay.